It's Raw Russ here, Tools and Tech, and today we're going to be installing these outdoor lights. But more importantly, we're going to be showing you how to be your own electrical. Must be installed by a qualified electrical. Well, I'm a qualified electrical, so first thing you're going to need is a voltmeter and a couple other tools. I'll leave a link in the description below, and I make a lot, spend a lot of time on all these links, so they're good. They're not the most expensive, but they're the ones that I use. They're good ones. Let's get started. Don't forget Ohm's Law. Let's learn how to use one of these guys so we can fix our own problems. First, you want to turn the power off to whatever you're doing until you're ready to test. Just split, separate the two wires. Stick it in your... I'm putting new connectors in there, right? See they have little spikes inside of them, and then these pieces just screw on top. Make sure that the spike right there goes through the center of the wire. Take these caps off at the top. Now we have exposed leads to connect them. Turn the power back on. Basic ohm law. If you have two figures, you can figure out the other one. What I'm doing is I'm testing for the voltage here, right? So I get my multimeter and I set it to voltage. Voltage right here. The squiggly line right there means it's AC. The straight line means it's DC. Then you gotta set the correct number because there's a fuse in here that you can blow out best solution, best scenario. Worst case scenario, you blow out the whole multimeter. So we set it to 60 because that's higher than 12, which I think it is. If you were testing the voltage in your house, you'd probably use 600 because it's going to be around 120. Always do use higher than you're using. And uh, so we have AC going. Now we take our leads, place them inside of here at the contact points. And 12 point, basically 12.8 volts. That's good. That's what we wanted. Now, if you were doing direct current or something that's like battery powered, you would want to put, set it to the straight line. You want to approximate the voltage right there. Now, with AC, it doesn't matter the, the orientation of your leads. You have a uh, black and a red lead, right? It doesn't matter, but on DC, it does, but it'll just tell you if the orientation is correct, it'll be a positive number. If, it's inc if it, they're swapped backwards, it'll say negative voltage it's it's telling you the the direction of the current flow now if you wanted to test the resistance that would be over here the omega symbol the omega is the the last greek letter that stands for uh, ohms and that's your resistance so if you want to test if you want to test the uh, continuity of of uh, a circuit to see if everything is connected it's closed a closed circuit it's not open somewhere with something burn out you test for um, continuity you use your ohms your test leads you want to be have plugged into the right portion so when you're testing it, you know and your me meter may be different but for voltage we have them plugged in here the black the black wire the common is always going to be in the same spot the only one you would switch is the red lead right so here Plug it in here for voltage and ohms and a bunch of other stuff. We're just going to go over basics here. So, but if I was testing current or amps, I would plug it in here. Now, there's two different holes there. There's one for low amperage or uh, milli and micro amps, and there's one for 20 amps or more. So, don't plug this on a starter motor. You're going to like blow this thing out, right? So, we were just testing voltage, but for amps, you would plug it in there depending on high amperage or low amperage. Now when you're testing current, which is amps, you want to test it with the load in the circuit. So you want to test it in series, not parallel. So for current, for amps, we're not going to put the two test leads across, straight across here because that would be in parallel. We're going to do it in series with the light in there, from the light to the main power wire. Right, so we're going to test right here and right here. Now, when you test test the current, you want to have it it's alternating current. So we have it set to alternating current, squiggly line, 20, because I, I'm guessing it's going to be around 1 amp, right? It's a 12 watt, 12 volt, and we use Ohm law to get to 1 amp, around 1 amp. Squiggly line is alternating current, straight is direct. No matter what you're testing, always start high. Start high and then work your way down. You don't want to blow the fuse of the multimeter or destroy the multimeter. Amperage is the only one you got to be careful with as far as you doing it only in series with the light there. If I were to test this right here, um, either the, the meter would beep or it would blow the fuse or it would blow the multimeter. So 
Now we have our test leads. Let's see if you can see that. Let's get our test leads, and we have power going to it. So, lights on, as you can see. Here. So there's the light. Now when I touch them, the light turns on, and we got about 0.58 amps, right? Notice the A there, that's amps. Since we figured through Ohm's law it was gonna be around one amp, we had it set here to the 20 amp one because it says right here, maximum 20 amps. If you look down here at the micro milliamp, the, the lesser amperage port, it says max 600 milliamp. So this was, we guessed around one and it's in fact 0.6, but it's more than 600 milliamp, more than the max. So we go up here, you always start high and you go low. Now it says fused, that means there's a fuse inside here. So it should blow the fuse before it blows the multimeter or beep at you, but just know what you're doing ahead of time. Then test, you know, you get it set to 20 because we guessed it was around one. If we're gonna go less, then we have 600 milliamps and etc. So now let's talk about testing resistance. Uh, resistance is just like physical resistance. It's the something pushing back. So you want to test if you want to test a circuit, like you want to see if um, if it there's continuity, meaning the electrons can flow in a circle through the entire circuit. Continuity. You want to test the resistance or the ohms um, in an open circuit. Let's go to ohms right now, right? Go to something low. So in an open circuit, it'll say overload. That's because there's nothing connecting from this lead to this lead, right? It's an infinite number of resistance, right? Resistance from me to the astronaut on the moon is infinite number of resistance. Now, if we touch these leads together, we gotta have it hooked up properly. So we're gonna go over here to where it says ohms and plug our test lead in there. Now we have it set to ohms. Let's set it to the lowest setting, 600. So we're going to test the resistance or the ohms. Right now it says overload. It's infinite resistance, basically, or a lot, an overload. We touch our leads together. Now we have continuity. We have some resistance. It's low, but we have some. Notice it says ohms down here on the meter. We have some. They used to give a, a multimeter for free with any purchase at Harbor Freight. That one's excellent. That's fantastic. I'll leave a link for that one. But whatever you get, uh, I hope you guys watch this whole way through, understand it all. If you want to learn more about this stuff, leave a comment. And now I got to get working to put these lights in. So if you want to see that video on how to do out to exterior lights, check out this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. You guys are awesome.